hello everyone so in this tutorial we're going to learn about counters okay so we're going to learn about counters so we'll learn how we can build a simple 2-bit synchronous binary counter okay so at first we need to learn what counter is so here the definition says counters are circuits that cycle through a specified number of states okay so uh, consider this question right here so if uh, we want to build a 2-bit synchronous counter then the diagram would would look like this okay so as the definition said that the counters are something uh, that uh, actually run through some states okay so there are four states since we are going to build a two bit synchronous counter so for two bits there would be four states so that means the number if the number of bit uh, is m then the number of state would be 2 to the power m all right so if the number of bit is m then the number of state would be 2 to the power m so 2 bits so we'll get four different states so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and we'll uh, show the transitions based upon these arrows so these would be the default transitions for a simple 2-bit synchronous binary counter okay and we'll also uh, we also want to mention that we're actually building uh, here 2-bit synchronous binary up counter okay so this would be an up counter so up counter means uh, that the values go from uh, uh, low to high okay so 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and finally from 3 to 0 again okay so the up counter means we're going from low to high okay so to be synchronous up counter would look something like this so from 0 0 to 0 1 from 0 1 to 1 0 1 0 to 1 1 and then again from 1 1 to 0 0 okay so at first we'll build this diagram okay so once we get this diagram we can definitely build the state table based upon this diagram over here okay we can see that from uh, 0 0 state if the present state is 0 0 then the next state is 0 1 if the present state is 0 1 then the next state is 1 0 and if the present state is 1 0 then the next state is 1 1 and if the present state is 1 1 then the next state would be 0 0 okay so th uh, here's the so here's the uh, uh, state table okay so here's the state table and we can see that in the present state there are two variables a1 and a0 so uh, how can you determine that that uh, that there would be two variables so just take a look at the number of bits okay if the question says two bits then uh, there would be two states if the question says three bits then there would be three states okay so present state a1 and a0 you can uh, use any other notation if you want like x and y or a and b maybe so it's your wish okay but we're using here a1 and a0 so here just like the diagram if the present state is 0 0 then the next state a1 plus and a0 plus would be 0 1 just like the diagram okay if the present state is 0 1 then the next state would be 1 0 so we're writing uh, we are building this whole table based upon uh, this diagram okay so once we we are done with this part then we'll add uh, two more columns here so these are known as flip-flop inputs so we'll only add two more columns here because we are using t flip-flops so in this question we are supposed to build uh, the uh, we're supposed to build a counter using t flip-flops so in t flip-flops there is usually only uh, one input right so that's why uh, uh, when we are uh, getting the columns here we're only using uh, one input per flip-flop and why uh, and how do we uh, how do you get sure that we're only using two flip-flops here that also comes uh, from the number of bits so if the number of bit is two bit then we'll use two flip-flops if the number of bit is three then we'll use three flip-flops okay you can also find it out from the number of states actually if the number of state is uh, 2 to the power m then you will need m number of flip-flops so here the number of state is 4 so that means you'll need uh, two flip-flops all right so you can find it out from the question or maybe from the state diagram okay so you'll need two flip-flops two t flip-flops so two inputs one would be t a1 and another would be t a0 based upon the present state okay so now how can we write down the values for t a1 and t a0 here when we write down the value for t a1 we'll only consider a1 and a1 plus and when we want to find out the value for t a0 we'll only consider a0 and a0 plus okay so we'll take the help 
of excitation table of T flip flop. So for the first row, when a1 is 0 and a1 plus is 0, we'll go back to the excitation table and we'll find out the uh, present state and next state where both values are 0 and we'll see what the input value is. We'll see th that the input value is 0 uh, so the TA1 column will have 0 here. So for the next row the present state is 0 and next state is 1 so if the present state is 0 and next state is 1 then flip-flop input would be 1 so here we place 1 okay so following this same procedure we fill up the uh, rest of the values okay the rest of the values and we do the same thing for t a 0 so when we calculate t a 0 we'll only consider a 0 and a 0 plus okay so for the first row we have 0 in the present state and 1 in the next state so we go to the uh, excitation table and we find that specific combination where present state is 0 and next state is 1 and flip-flop input says 1 so that's why we put one here okay so do the same for rest of the rows so following this procedure we find out all the values for ta1 and ta0 so once we get all those values then we need to find the k maps okay now we'll build the k maps for flip flop inputs only so here we have two columns for flip flop inputs so we'll build k maps for two columns so we will have two separate k maps so one for ta1 and another for ta0 so the inputs would be the presence state okay so the input should be the present state in this case so uh, in case of counter designing the inputs uh, for the kmaps would be the present states only okay so here are two present states a1 and a0 so we'll build the kmaps accordingly and we'll place the ones and do the groupings and find out the equations so once we get the equations then we can build the circuit actually okay so once we get the equations then we can actually build the circuit so here as you can see we'll need two flip-flops that uh, we already derived from the question okay so two t flip-flops here i have already drawn two t flip-flops so t a1 equals to a0 and t a0 equals to one okay so since t a0 equals to one i can just write one here or i can actually connect it to plus five volt okay so i can either write one here or I can just connect it to plus 5 volt so that means I can write plus 5 volt here too okay and TA1 equals to A0 so this is my A0 so I can just take a connection from here and connect it to TA1 okay so that's it so this is a very very simple circuit so this is how you can build a 2-bit synchronous binary up counter okay so next we'll try to build a 3-bit synchronous up counter and 4-bit synchronous up counter okay so that's it for this tutorial thank you